So you just rid in a Tesla Model 3 prototype. Uh, what do you think? Well, I think that the car is, is absolutely exceeds expectations in a lot of different ways. Um, it's handling, uh, acceleration is amazing for a car at that price point. Um, the exterior design is absolutely awesome. The interior, I think, is still prototypical. I think it needs to be refined a bit. However, the landscape display is revolutionary. It replaces the dash display entirely. All the information that you see is on a landscape display screen, including your speedometer and all other instrumentation. That's amazing and yeah. very cool. Also, that display floats. And what that means is that they can lower the dash. And by lowering the dash, you get a feeling of roominess that you wouldn't have in a normal car. In other words, the display floats off the dash area. And, so uh, it's pretty and cool. And it looks it more accessible to the passenger. Uh, so, you, so the I'm passenger six two. has more. I'm 6'2", six, six feet two inches. I, I, mean, uh, I, mean the, I mean the display. It oh, looks oh, like it's, oh, it's a good spot for the passenger who has more right ability to, to well, navigate. Well, it, it turns out. Yeah. Go, go ahead. Well, Dad is 6'2", I'm 6'1". So what was really cool about the back seats were here you are in you know a thirty-five thousand dollar car sedan, and it just has all this space and also the rooftop. You got to talk about the yeah. rooftop a little bit. It's Good. all it has this effect of being just this enormous amount of space, which is really unusual at well, that price. That's interesting. Yeah, it yeah. didn't it's look like glass. that. It didn't look like that from the exterior. Yeah. So there's the panorama roof for the front. Panorama. Uh, roof. Well, it's it's it's, it's all a, glass. Yeah. I, I mean, from the from the the the. The intersection of the hood with the with the front windshield right. all the way to the back of the car is glass. So, if you, so it's it's oh, even more that, significant. So yeah. It's got the super splendulous windshield. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. In the panoramic. You couldn't tell that from this from the Trust side me, it that. does. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So just just to clarify, so if you're <laughs> just to clarify, driving, this you is have the best car if, you've imagined. <laughs> The, this is the steering wheel doesn't have the three spoke sort of typical Tesla steering wheel. It's just like almost like a floating, I don't know if you call it like a kidney bean shape yeah. almost kind of. Above that is just a uh, trim finish. There's nothing you look at right. that There's is no any instrumentation. It's just on this landscape style display. And on the upper left hand corner, you have your speedometer and just your basics, park, drive, whatever. So that's part of it. And also the landscape style display is really done in that fashion so that both the driver and the passenger have access to it. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Which is like. interesting. It looked like the passenger had a lot more access right. than anything I've seen. Yeah, there, yeah. There, really yeah. Isn't, there really isn't any, any tilt to the display at all. It kind of displays flat out along the central axis of the car. So basically both the uh, passenger and the driver see somewhat the same thing. What Matt was referring to is that the general functions that you'd see in a normal car dashboard display, yeah, which would be your, 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 your speedometer, etc., yeah, yeah. are on that display. Yeah. No, there is nothing yeah. behind the steering wheel. Yeah, totally got it. Part of that also, if you think about it for a second, might ultimately be viewed as a uh, preliminary to yes, autopilot. Yes, exactly <laughs> because Kyle's think about there. it for a moment. <laughs> yeah. You know, you really won't need much of totally. that when the car's driving itself. When you're so, watching you know, a movie, yeah, why yeah. do you need to know yeah, what speed you're going? Exactly. It doesn't matter. So it's very cool. And, very so, cool. and so, of course, the uh, the million dollar question, how fast is it? Yeah, how it, fast is it? It was fast. really fast. Did it really fit? I mean, you guys, really are, used to, you guys yeah. are used to the yeah. S. Well, I, I drive an yeah. S, okay? And, and, it really I, and felt... I, I can tell you, he turned the corner and nailed it. <laughs> and <laughs> we you were know, like, you, you well, I mean, we were over there for a while and uh, they weren't launching. No, they he were launched. They were, I mean, they're launch. turning a rolling launch. They're not a stop and launch. Well, he did a stop fully. Pretty much a full stop. He may have been going one mile an hour, yeah, but he wasn't good. going much more than that. And he nailed it. The brakes are good too because yeah. we were we were hauling, yeah. and there was cars blocking the end. And of the then street. on the way yeah. back, they do a, the swerving, yeah. Yeah. so you get to yeah. feel the handling a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. It felt yeah. Roll tight. stability, roll stability is excellent. Felt like a Porsche. We weren't driving fast enough to really be able, or, or long enough, or hard and enough you were to riders. understand whether you had any drift. You couldn't tell if there was oversteer or understeer. But at the end of the day. It feels really tight, very much like a Model S. 
because I drive one. So let's yeah. um, let's let's so. just put it out there. Is there any car that legitimately compares to the Model Three? Well, I I can't speak definitively. I want I want to try to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Model S. <laughs> Model S. If you prefer a big car. Yeah. yeah. Right. I I think it's gonna it's gonna really embarrass um, say the BMW 3 Series or the Audi A4 both in terms of performance and in my view although that's a personal opinion I think stylistically yeah. it, it, it buries both of them yeah yeah you know yeah. But and that's of just course my it, it is a prototype but I mean Elon has tried very hard to not put anything in a in a concept prototype uh, whatever that that wouldn't be in yeah. their actual yeah. car yeah. he's that's very true. very that's concerned true. about yeah. not you know just creating these fancy yeah. so theoretically all of this should be in the car yeah. and yeah. even improved by then, right? Yeah. And I remember I was pushing I was pushing to say, Will is the touchscreen gonna float? You know, is, is this really gonna be the interior? And he said it was. He said Elon really wanted it. And who did that. you ride with? Did you, did you know who it was or no? It was, it was an engineer, he an gave engineer. us his name. Yeah. Okay. By the way, we met uh, the interior designer earlier yeah. in the in, oh, in the evening great. before we took the test ride. We were talking to him about you know who did what in the car and he told us that they originally had the landscape to Display, then decided as the car began to evolve, no, 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 we couldn't do it. They Let's took it the out. Portrait, right. But then they thought about it a bit yeah. and put they it back in the car, yeah. and, and it's in the car right now. Now, will it make it to the end? I certainly hope so. I think it's really cool. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and I like displays with a lot of information. And in another life, I worked uh, on, on, on display systems <laughs> for fighter aircraft. And I can tell you, this has that feel. You know, a lot of stuff is in front of you. It looks really cool. And I mean, if you want to go way out there, uh, just take a leap. What do you think? What, if, if Tesla can get up to supply, you know, get supply up to demand, do you th what do you think this could move a year? Oh, it's, 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 <laughs> it's hard to say. I think if, if this car comes out performing the way it does with good reviews I don't think they can keep up with demand. I mean, they'll have yeah. to limit demand because I'm uh, thinking like eventually 2025 or say you know when it's uh, of oh course God. second generation. Well, I, I mean, uh. in fairness, look, <laughs> the, the other premium car makers can't sit still. Uh, oh, no. I'm sure they're concerned, and and, and they'll get their engineers. No, they, they can't engineers. sit still. They need to find yeah. another profession to, to move to because they're going to well, get their. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I don't think <laughs> look, competition kidding. is good. Competition yeah. will drive others to innovate right. and to and 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 they'll. They'll, they'll push each other, yeah. but Tesla has a first mover advantage, and that's a huge advantage in a business. And a second like this. mover and a third mover. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but eventually, right. some other people will come up to, to, yeah. to, to speed. But right now, there's nothing they'll well, compare you, to it. You think nothing. about it this way: when you think 2025, the Fremont factory has capacity for 500,000 cars. Right? There's 50,000 cars right now that got produced last year. Probably 100,000 this year. They already are up to 130,000 that have been, I guess, registered oh, sort of by, by the end of 24 today. hours, it'll be 175,000. So probably 200,000 yeah. by the end of this week. So they're going to need another factory yeah, like yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. And apparently there was articles about possibly like a factory yesterday. in China yeah. and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, you know, just well, at least for the Asian market. Saying, it's coming here, it's coming here, it's yeah, coming yeah, here yeah, right now. Sure. So not only that, but the Gigafactory yeah. may need more number two, number three space. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So there, there's the the move. I think is going to be, I'd say, I don't know, two three months from now, a big capital raise to be able to fund a lot of this. Although obviously they're going to fund yeah. some of it now, but. Yeah. I think it's going to be interesting. The next few months are going to be very interesting in the Tesla world because yeah. there's a lot that has to happen to be able to keep up with this kind of demand. I think everybody's happy though. Nobody, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, it would I, be pretty I, hard I, to be I, let down by yeah, what we saw I, tonight. I, oh I, yeah. I, think, just, uh, I was talking to one of the engineers just before we got in the car and as an engineer myself, I congratulated him and I said, look, congratulations are due because this car exceeded expectations and expectations were pretty high. <laughs> yeah. You know, so when, it, when you can do yeah. that, that's congrats to the engineers. They did yeah. a hell of a job, yeah. and, and the designers, and everybody involved. Yeah, and um, Elon has tried to give them more credit. Say, look, it's a whole team deserve, of really and, tremendous and, and people. He's right, and, and, and they deserve the, 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 the credit. And I'm sure, in on Monday morning or tomorrow morning, at GM and oh lord, at, I can't uh, even imagine at Porsche and at uh, uh, BMW and Audi. And if I was in Mercedes, their positions, I, I there'll I, be some conversations about this. I think oh, this would yeah, be yeah. one of the they're, worst they're, days of my they're, professional they're, life. Well, <laughs> look, we we're at a historic event tonight. Really, I mean, you know, an introduction of a mass market car that's electric and it's cool. 
I mean, you know, and those are two very, very important. Uh, there's a, a lot of people already are saying to it. It looks like a mix of a Porsche and a Tesla. I mean, it really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I mean, yeah, Aston Martin, yeah. Porsche, Tesla. yeah. And I yep. mean, it's really. I mean, great. I mean, awesome. but it's taken great features from all of them, and made something that's still unique and beautiful. And it's uh, well, yeah. the other, yeah. the other thing that occurs to me is that. The car photographs beautifully, and with the right yeah. lighting, it looks oh, totally. really cool. Yeah, yeah. Kyle can tell you all about that. What's we'll <laughs> <But, laughs> um, the car is absolutely awesome in person. I, I, I yeah. mean, it, it's like striking. Yeah. Um, yeah. The proportions are just right. The yeah. height is just right. The width is just right. They actually. I feel it like, in some ways did a better job of design of this car than they did of the Model S. Oh yeah, no, opinion. I feel like, I feel like Franz looks at this as like his crowning achievement. Uh, and I, I think, think I think it, it may very well. And I mean, and of yeah. course they're going to go on and do more, but this is, in my opinion, the, the Model T of the 21st century, yes. and this is the crowning achievement. No matter what you do in the future, yeah. this is the car that's may very well be. that's uh, yeah. really busty yeah. and open. Yeah, uh, yeah. He is. Does it have a center console? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what did you find that you could add? <laughs> uh, we we already have some. Ideas. You have ideas already. We already we, have some. You are a good businessman. Yeah. We yeah. could tell you. We have but to kill we'd you. Have, we'd, have, we'd, have, we'd, have, we'd have to kill you. That's right. Uh, but, guy, but the guy no, can it, wait. it does can have wait. a center console. I waited for the Model Three. I can wait. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and the uh, engineer inside the car said, "Why are you taking so many pictures?" Of the <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a reason. Can't like, say. But uh, yeah, we won't tell you. Yeah. Yeah. No. The I was I was wondering if they let you take pictures inside. Yeah. It looks gorgeous. It's nicely appointed, it but but great. there are some things that that I think we can do with it. But obviously, we have to wait to see what the final production version. Yeah, is. yeah, for sure. So it's um, good. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And what did you guys think? Uh, we loved that he opened up the presentation with such a strong focus on global warming, yes, climate yeah, change, yes. and he really. I mean, with recent news and just real emphasis. Yeah. And we we were talking. We've seen him emphasizing this more and more. It seems we've, in the past, he sort of tried to steer clear of it, not yeah. to offend people, maybe. Yeah. But I think he's seeing the urgency more and more, and also just feeling like they're in a position where they can influence public opinion. Yeah. I also felt like, and, and to your point, we were talking earlier that he framed everything. It's almost yeah. people's first time exactly. encountering Tesla. He, right. he he came from such a like a I don't know twenty thousand foot view of why Tesla is doing yeah, what right. they're doing. Definitely, yeah. And so he talked about everything that led up to this point, and I felt like everyone just really felt that. Okay, the car is here, and here's why. Yeah. And so uh, and it I was mean, really refreshing. Who knows how many, I mean, this is going to get so much news. Who knows how many people are going to find out about Tesla for the first time from this? Well, I think event. tomorrow morning on mass media, <laughs> a, lot of people, a, a lot of people are going to say, whoa, you know, what's this? I mean, I thought it was pretty clear. They're, they're taking reservations early so they can have a big number to announce, and yeah. that's what people are going to pick yeah. up. That's that's what the media will pick up on. Yeah. Tesla got 150,000 right. reservations in the first day. And that's what investors are going to care about as yeah, well. Absolutely. They're going to say, because every event we've seen, we've seen, they come out, they blow us away with what they what they bring to market. Yeah. And the stock has climbed and then drops. And you're like, why did the stock drop when they just announced yeah. Autopilot, D, yeah. et cetera, the, the right. Model X? And in this case, uh, you know, the analysts, the investors, they care about the numbers. And they're going to say, sure. wow, they pulled in 150,000 reservations in under 24 hours. Yeah. That's going to make an impact on the, on, on the investment community. I okay. also think some interesting things, when you, because of all these, you know, and these are real press. reservations. Yeah, yeah. Are <laughs> not real. the Tesla Energy. Uh, right. No, I, I, yeah. I mean it's a thousand anyway. dollars down. You got to pop yeah. up down a thousand dollars of your good money. And people are limited, maximum of two. How many people yeah. wanted to do more than two? Yeah. We did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what you were no, saying? Sorry. I, I just think like if you think about all the people comparing, contrasting the Chevy Bolt. Oh. With yeah. the Tesla Model <laughs> Three, now he's just said, "Okay, we're gonna have 215 miles of range, yeah. more range, thirty-five thousand dollar price point, a lower base price, a supercharger network access for everybody, so full infrastructure there, growing the supercharger network dramatically, right. doubling, 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 doubling it a year, year. right? He's Quicker just, to sixty, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Autopilot, like yeah. you haven't seen, under six seconds. I mean, he autopilot on less. every car. He's he's doing things yeah. that and are just making it. <laughs> A no-brainer. Wow. Why would you even think about another car than that? This car. So yeah. no, exactly. And, and I love that he said this is the best car you can buy for thirty-five for this price. Oh, this I is right. absolutely the best that's car. Serious. That's an understatement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's for me, I can't honestly. It looks like the 
I, I would prefer it over the S or the X, I think, uh, yeah. personally. Well, I, but I prefer well, smaller cars. That's my thing, too. I, I'd, yeah. I'd rather have a smaller yeah. car. So We it also notice, you know, little things just being in the, you know, sort of design world in the aftermarket space. We know some interesting things. So there's no chrome on the exterior of the car. Pretty we much. We noticed, at least. Like, that chrome strip in yeah. the back yeah. is gone. Yeah. Um, also, they didn't go with the exact X front. You know, they yeah, the I noticed that. on top. On, uh, on, yeah. on the hood, of yeah. more conventional yeah. placement, Which actually. is more conventional. Um, From a certain angle. I almost thought they 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 kept with the the S, and I was like, no way. But then I saw it was just the angle, and the and it was just a, a bit different than the X. But yeah. And, and yeah. whereas the S and the X share a similar wheel style, the wheels that they showed on the car yeah. were much more aggressive and sporty. And so I just took well, you were showing us away. some some great pictures too. Of yeah. Very clear aero aero wheels, yeah. uh, aerodynamic yeah. wheels, with carbon fiber, which is really the you know, suspension. Pretty, pretty it's it's very hard to tell, but the suspension felt like a spring suspension. Suspension, not a not a, not an air suspension or a or a, a computer controlled suspension, but it's it, it's really difficult to tell. There's an art engineer in a car for talking for you. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I would have no clue. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but, they handled like like oh, I mean, it was yeah. it was. You were you were very secure in the sense that when you were cornering, it was just again that flat battery pack pack on the bottom. You were. Yeah. Just, yeah. I'm just trying to think of other little things that might you know add. There aren't a lot of people who've driven in this car, so uh, yeah. the the front seats um, are heavily bolstered, very mm. much like a like a, 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 a race car almost. Uh -huh. Now I don't know if they'll be the standard seats. Yeah, they may first. not be. But uh, if they are, that's a premium seat in a, in a, in a car like this. Because normally cars that are less expensive don't right. have bolstered you seats. Right. You know, I, I mean, right. Yeah. right. But with this car, because I think they they believe it's going to perform really well, um, I think they really do want to uh, uh, give you some stability as a driver. Oh, yeah. and, and, and they're heavily bolstered. And the rear seats were very comfortable, like very you said, and very roomy. Super very spacious. roomy. Yeah. 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 So let's, let's ask, are you happy that you won the lottery? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and bought the tickets to come out from Florida? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, yeah. It was well oh, yeah. We were, <laughs> well happy with yeah. Awesome. we were pretty yeah. happy with it. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We're all, we were blown away. Yeah, it's fun to be part of a totally historic cool. night. I mean, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of cool. That's, <laughs> it that's is an midnight. understatement, sir. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is time to go to bed. That is very true. I'm. I'm the. Uh, I'm a zombie at this point. Just sleepwalking. I know. I know. Yeah, it's been a great day, though. I mean, start to finish. Starting out in Santa Monica, <laughs> met you guys in the line. Yeah, that's that was wonderful. That's right. And then we come here and we find out what we put our money down on, and boom. Yeah. And we were and saying before, up. good who else, decision. <laughs> who else is going to be able to? You know, get you to spend two thousand dollars of your hard-earned money on without something. showing you anything. <laughs> yeah. right. that is. You gangster. have almost no information. <laughs> Apple doesn't Elon know that Musk. Far. <laughs> Elon yeah. Musk is gangster. That's yeah. pretty amazing. He's a gangster. <laughs> he really he's is. Gangster. That's awesome. He really is. He is like gangster. A lot of people around here were saying just that might be the that might be the uh, the title. Elon Musk. Elon Musk is gangster. <laughs> That's right. I mean, he took a heck of a risk because if it oh, yeah. didn't if it didn't work out quite so well, that wouldn't have worked out well for the company. So yeah. it's really a good a good thing I mean, I, that, that that they they got the signups that they did. And honestly, I thought he looked I thought cool. he looked clearly very happy and relieved Numbers, uh, before you know, even I mean sure. even earlier when we saw the video of him giving people high fives at the at Century City yeah. store, yeah. I thought, man, he he looks really. Yeah. I said to Kyle, I said he seemed really happy and relieved. Wow, at yeah. The, yeah. 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 Like, like he knows this is big already. Yeah. yeah.